Hey everyone, Viper CG99 here, and I wasn't really gonna make a draft recap or review, but the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to, and I'm really excited now. You have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna go over it and give my thoughts on each one. First pick, 14th overall, Star Latulale. Oh, Utah, defensive tackle. I'm surprised he slid that far, but. I'll be honest, I thought we was going to take a wide receiver or that safety the Saints got. And I'm glad we didn't, really. This guy can stuff the pa uh, run, and he can get to the quarterback. So, we haven't had a good defensive tackle since Chris Jenkins back in the day. You guys remember that. Okay, second, second round pick. We took K1 Short, Purdue, defensive tackle. At this time, I was like, what? What are we doing? But then the more I think about it, the better it is. Just our front four is set. Johnson, Hardy, Short, Starr, then Dwayne Edwards will be in there too. I'm pretty, our GM knows what he's doing. Again, I thought we was going to take a wide receiver. We didn't, which now, the more I look at these people's highlights, the more I'm happy. Short can really get to the quarterback so I'm excited about that we didn't have a third round pick kind of sucked but fourth we took a guard I'm not going to try to pronounce his name because you guys know who he is anyway I was really puzzled about that because figured so far we should take a cornerback what's left because they're probably all going off the board by then and most of them were but Good depth. We need him. Maybe he can step up. He's a big guy. Maybe he can step up. Who knows? He could be some. He could be needle in a haystack. You know. Uh, fifth round pick. We took AJ Klein, Iowa State linebacker. Again, I was like, what, what are we doing? But the more I think about it, the better it is. Beeson, Davis, even Keekley. One of them gets hurt. He could come in and help out. That's what I'm excited about because you never know what's going to happen, what injuries happen. And I've seen some highlights of this guy. He he can intercept and run it back for a touchdown. I, I'm not complaining about the pick. Sixth round, Kenyon Barner, running back, Oregon. This time I was really like, what? Last pick? We'll take a halfback? What are we doing? Then I'll leave this highlight. He's a great, he's got some speed. I'll uh, just say I'm happy. I think we got a steal. He looks pretty good. He reminds me of Darren Sproles. But then again, a lot of people on my Facebook, Panther fans, this is the end of D'Angelo Williams. Bye-bye, gone. But I really don't hope that happens to next year. I think we picked this guy to develop him, and he'll be on special teams and maybe kick returns. Who knows? I hope he gets a chance, though. He looks pretty good. Uh, there ain't much more to say about this. I really hope we do keep D'Angelo, because he's one of my favorites. He's good on the screen. He, he He's a home run hitter. Barner looks pretty good. All in all, even though I was puzzled most, most of the draft, I'm really, really happy and excited to start this season. I'm ready for preseason something. I just want to see something in football. I want to see Cam run. I really hope we get back to the halfback, using our halfbacks like we're supposed to. But Cam's good, too. we got four-headed monster, really. D'Angelo, Stewart, Cam, and even Tolbert. Tolbert can, Tolbert can go. Anyway, I made this too long. I was been aiming to try to go to a Panther game this year. A lot of people on my Facebook Panther fans have been asking me, but it depends on time and money. I'm just gonna be honest. But I may try to get to one. Which, which game do you guys prefer anyway? Anyway, I'm running. I'm getting off here, so go Panthers. Keep pounding. I'm out.